Hey, what's up everyone? So right here I am at my portfolio and at the contact section I added this cool feature where I have a contact form and I can be able to like send a message to my email through this contact form. And the cool thing is that I didn't make use of uh, any backend code. I'm using React and uh, an email platform called email.js. So right here, if I go ahead and type Charles and then right here, I include an email, ciao at gmail.com. And then right here, we have a message, test message. And I go ahead and send. Uh, I'll be able to get this email at my uh, Gmail. So right here, I have also a cool pop-up message sent. And now uh, this is how I get it. So it is from charles.dev and uh, right here it's from Charles email, the user email, and then the test message and email sent via emailjs.com. So I want to show you how to implement this feature and uh, it's actually very easy to set it up. Also, if you want to create a portfolio like this one, I have a complete course. Uh, I have both a premium version and a free version here on YouTube. So I'll leave a link at the description section below so that you can as well uh, create a cool portfolio site just like mine. And uh, I'll go ahead and jump into email.js. And as you can see, email.js uh, can send email directly from JavaScript. No server code uh, needed, okay? And you can create an account for free. The pricing plan, we have a free version where you can get up to 200 uh, emails monthly, okay? And this is good enough if you're just starting out. So just go ahead, create an account, make sure you verify the email. And once you log in, you'll get into the dashboard. It looks like this way. And at the email services, right here you won't have anything, but you can go ahead and add new service. Now we have Gmail, uh, Outlook, Yahoo, and many others. So the most common one is obviously Gmail. So you'll go ahead and click on Gmail and then you'll come here, connect account and you'll select an account that you want to connect. So I'll go ahead and connect to Chow Charles right here at Gmail and make sure you select all the three services that will be listed. Uh, two will be auto selected, but make sure you select the third one also. And then you'll click continue, okay? And then after that, you'll go ahead and create service and you'll get an email, which is a test email to verify the configuration, okay? So once you do that, it will appear here. And this is what I have here. The next thing that you want to do is to create an email template. So you'll just click on uh, create new template and you'll get something like this, okay? So I have clicked on my already existing one. So you'll get something like this. And right here, you, in, you will include the subject. And then uh, right here from name, is the name that you will include right here, chowcharles.dev. That is why you saw that that message came from chowcharles.dev. So this from name is this one. Let me show you again. Uh, this one right here. And then a new message from this one, okay? And then right here from, now this is the user name, like the person who is sending you the email. So this name right here, and then right here we have email, uh, user email. That will also be this one right here. And then the message, that will be the message, okay? So create an email template similar to this one. And uh, yeah, right here you will include uh, which email you want to receive to like, once that message is sent, where should that message go? So it should go to my email right here. And then, uh, yeah, that is all you need to do. And you can still further, you can include block quotes, you can include italics, and uh, yeah, many, many stuff, even links, okay? And then you'll go ahead and save your template. Once you create your template, you can come to docs. So I'll open this docs in a new tab. And then you'll scroll at the very bottom. We have examples and click on React if you are using React. And right here we have like a complete example. So you won't even like actually need to do much, okay? So now I'll open my code. And at my code, I just have an, a component uh, called contact. I'm styling stuff with styled components down here. So these are just styles. Don't worry too much about them. You can style uh, however you want. And now right here, I have the contact um, press holder. So what I want us to do is to copy what we have right here 
and transfer to our component. So I can go ahead and uh, copy the form. So I'll highlight the form right here. And then I'll go ahead and paste it here. And I'll go ahead at the very top. So you can see on submit, we are calling this a uh, send email. So I'll go ahead and copy this uh, send email right here together with this use ref where we are defining const form. So I'll copy that and you can go ahead just before the return statement, you can paste it here. And then another thing that I need to do is to import uh, email.js from at email.js and also import use ref from react. So I can just like copy these two and I'll paste them at the very top. So uh, you need to install this one at email.js stroke browser. Okay. And I have already done that and you can install uh, the specific version that I'm using. So uh, right here at email.js uh, stroke browser, the version that I'm using is 3.4.0. So if things doesn't work as uh, expected on your side, uh, it might be because of version uh, difference. So to install this one, you can just run npm i and then at email.js uh, stroke browser. So I'm expecting that you are familiar with the React and you know how to perform installation. So you run a code like this. Okay, npm i uh, at email.js stroke browser. So once you do this, let's explore what we have right here. So I'll go ahead and save to auto format everything. And uh, let's start from our form and understand how this will work out. So now at the name here, we have user name. So this is the input field for the name. We have this user name. So this must be the same as what we have at our template. Okay. So at the template here, so if you want this from username to be there, this username right here must be the same with this one right here. So if you used something else, maybe just name, uh, make sure that also this one is just name. So user email right here must be the same as this user email right here at the name. Okay. And then for the message name message, uh, that should also be the same as message right here. So if you use uh, different variables like uh, my message, make sure that also in your form, you make use of my message. Okay. And then what we are doing here, we are firing on submit event and then we are calling send email function right here, send email function right here. And what we are doing, we are making use of e dot prevent default to prevent refresh. And then right here we are calling email js dot send form. And right here, what you have is your service ID. So how to grab your service ID, just go to email services. And this uh, right here is the ID. So you can highlight it. That is the ID. Uh, actually, it opened on this pop up, you can just highlight this one copy that ID and go ahead and paste it here. And if this code will be public, you can press this on an environment variable. So I'll paste it there. And the next thing that we have is your template ID. So to get your template ID, go to email templates. And this right here is your ID, this one. Uh, let's go to settings. And this is your template ID. So you can copy that and you can paste it here paste it there. And then now right here we have form dot current. So this will get our contact form right here. And then email JS will know what to do with it. Okay. And how we are getting this form is by making use of the use left hook. We are uh, invoking it right here and uh, creating a constant called form. And then right here we are saying let ref here be form. And now when you say form dot current, uh, whatever will be here is our uh, entire form right here. And email JS will know how to extract the name. Uh, for each of the fields and their values and it will know what to do with them. So you don't need to worry about it. Okay. And then right here, you need your user ID. So you, your user ID, you can get it from integration. And then when you scroll down here, you'll see API keys, user ID. So you can grab this, copy that and go ahead and paste it here. And then that's all you need to do and your form will be functional. So right here we have console.log you can like log the text and stuff. So right here, let's also say 
that it was successful. So console dot log message sent. So in my contact form, I made use of React Toast file to show the user that that request was successful. And then in case of an error, you can show the error. So I'll go ahead and save this. And then I'll open uh, this uh, contact form. This is the contact form that I have. The name, the email, the message, and we have the send. So let's try it and see if we can send something to my email. So I'll go ahead and say, uh, my name is Chao. Email is... Uh, let's say test email uh, dot com uh, also let's include the name youtube here to make sure that you are getting the correct message ciao youtube is my name and message is test message and then i can go ahead and send let's see if we get the logs okay message sent now i'll go to my email and see if we are getting it and here it is ciao youtube uh, test email test message and this is coming from email.js and that is all you need to do to like send uh, the message from a form like this one and the settings for this form I made use of styled components I will upload this code on github and you can get it from there if you want to make use of my own uh, styles right here so I'll see you on the next one please make sure you subscribe uh, for more cool videos just like this one I focus on content around react uh, node.js css and so on so this is my channel i have cool content uh, manstack react crowd operations next.js and many more so check out my channel if you like the content uh, make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next one